Hi. Oh, I think today I'm going to. Well, let me. Let me just first just uh, let you know who I am. My name is Willis. Willis, the artist bear. And today I'm going to work with some crayons. I love crayons. Ah, I get them crayons. We're going to work with crayons. And after working with the crayons, I'm going to grab my trusty paintbrush and we're going to paint on. We're going to paint on. So, uh, I want you I want you to uh, watch me as I give it. Give it. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna do a little painting today, and hopefully we have some fun. So come on in. Come on in. Come on in and enjoy me with some of these crayons. All right, all right. So I'm gonna make a, a video using crayons, crayons. And also I'm gonna use some paint. Just like Willis was talking about, we're gonna use, Willis is just gonna use me as his hands for now. So I'm gonna use the crayons, I'm gonna use the pencil. And I think what we'll do today is we're gonna make a bird, maybe two birds. I have a bird or have a friend. I was just working on a video called Crump Snatcher Gets a New Name. You can see that video on my channel. So here I'm going to draw two birds and we're going to start out with a, a circle and I'm going to use another circle like this and I'm going to use like our little triangular shape here, that's going to be the tail, and then it will make some feet. Their feet are real skinny, and then we'll make a little shape here for the claws. A little claws here, and claws coming out here, and a beak, and then the eye. So now I'll leave a little space over here for another bird, maybe a little bird. A lot of my friends like that. If they make one bird, they want to make a little bird. And we'll change the beak. Make this a long beak. Birds have all different shapes, so you can't really mess up with the birds. So we'll put this little bird here. Put a little bird here, got little wings over here and little feet feet and we'll put a little twig going across the bottom and a little twig going across this way and one going across we'll just move that right around here so here his feet are gripping the twig you know birds love the twigs they love the the branches they hang on to those little branches and put a little eye here color and what really makes it all exciting with the birds is not so much, it's the color. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to outline it. I'm going to grab my trusty marker and outline this bird. So let's see. And it really makes it easy for you to see it in the video. So put the outline. That's okay. Artists make mistakes. And now I have my pencil outline. I made this one the long beak and the eye. And I think I'm going to make this a two color bird. So I'll make that side there. And now we have the other bird. I'm over the top. It's the big bird. 
Maybe I'll give him a little something. A little bird mane. Eye. Give him a little eyelid. circle of shape now just curve follow the line from my legs and go right around here for the claws he's gripping his claws he's gripping the the limb so here Trusty crayons, and I'll use my watercolor. We'll bring in some paint. Maybe we'll do the sky with the watercolor, and we'll do a lot of color in the birds. So, first thing I want to do is my. I'm going to erase some of the pencil lines that I made. Just take them right out. Erase them right out, and I'm going to erase some of these out right here. Just erase them right out. Glad to be back with you. Take the dust. I'm missing you. I've been missing, missing you. So now we have these two birds here. And we can start to play with the color. And there's two things we can do. Crayons. Maybe we'll, we'll start out with a real bright color, orange. And I'm going to start by putting some of this bright orange in on the, on the bird. Give him some real strong color. And there's always a method to my madness. So I know that the watercolor crayons do not mix so I'm gonna do the birds with the crayons so that I can do the background and it won't mess up my birds so here we go with all this color in here and you don't that's because I'm using this bright color you don't have to use you can use a different color the beak it in. And I think down here too, I'm going to give this a nice bright color right in here. Really rub that in here. Good. Rub that in. I like to work those light colors first. thinking see I'm thinking right now I'm thinking about my next color or my next color that I want to use I think I'm gonna grab some red and I'm using these crayons I love crayons so I'm gonna do this B 
big, a nice red, a nice strong red. Now, if you don't have crayons, but you have paint, and you want to use paint, use paint. You can use whatever you have to make your color. You get this a uh, redhead. Birds, you can make this one a red head. Call it any kind of bird you want to call it. This is my red head bird. And then when you go out in the park, look around at some of the birds, different color birds. And you can help your imagination to think about different kinds birds that are out there. You can really have fun. I got a nice, you know, it almost looks like you can put some shadow down here with this same color blue right over the yellow. And there we go. So that would make one bird. Now, this bird, bright bird, I can um, either keep them in the family of reds. I will make them, but I'll use a different red. I'll use this red, and I don't even know what it's gonna look like until I start putting it down. So I'm gonna put it down. put it down. You can always fix it. Just put that red in. Rub this 
ません。Everybody should be out of school, so you can take your time. Really, just have a good time with your art now. You're free, free, and the lessons are free. <laughs> Everything is free. So put some more of that color in. Here I'm gonna give it the red, another red, just a darker red, and this will give me some shading under the, underneath his wings and under his belly, and it kind of makes it look more three-dimensional just by adding a little bit of tone under. You go outside and look at the trees. Look at the color of the tree, and see all the different colors that you see in the trunks. Sometimes you'll see green. Sometimes you'll see gray. Sometimes you might see a little brown peeking out. But you won't. Usually, you will not see unless you look at a telephone pole.
let's see, let's see. This is done with the crayons and the wax. So I want to put in a nice background without messing up my birds. The birds that have the wax on and the wax from the crayons does not like the watercolor. They don't mix. So it helps with keeping it from being real messy. Good quantity of color. Mix up a lot. Mix up a lot of watercolor so you don't run out. Especially when you want to do a big area. try two different colors. I'm going to try, um, I'm going to start out with a blue and I'm going to hold the paper up on an angle and just kind of let it run down. Get that nice sky effect. birds because the watercolor in the birds they don't mix Let it run. Yeah, so now 
that gives it some interest. I keep tissues around. dry but you can see already we have an interesting effect of the birds with a nice sky and then here if I just go in here and you put a little green in here I can give it a feeling that it's the ground and all I need is to add some yellow to my blue that I already have Yellow and blue, make green. So we'll add a little yellow to it. Now, do I know what's gonna happen? Not really. But it's good with art and to experiment. you to try it. You can either try it along with me. That's how easy it is to two birds. They have those two nice little birds with nice color to them. 